Get in. I know I've been so excited. I never I never been so excited. Maybe not gonna be the best camera shots, I'm very, very sorry, but oh. Welcome to Old School Garage Barn Find episode with this beautiful Mark III Escort. But just to know what happened and how we get here to my backyard, it's a little short video coming up, uh, which happened yesterday. And I couldn't film in there, but I took some shots and some photos of the car. It's been rescued for over 30 years. It's been stored in a barn. Well, not in a barn, in a garage, actually, under, uh, under a multi-store house and uh, the car has not been moved because the guy went so old that they not use this car. So here is a bit of backstory. Today's bar find is super, super, super exciting because this is a Mark III Escort and I couldn't film where I picked up uh, the car from, but I actually bought this barn find and it's been sto stored since October 1993. So this, is, this has been laid off for over 30 years. Uh, we're gonna continue in the daytime, but this is, well, I couldn't film in there. I took some pictures, I went for a walk around for a reason I, I, I don't want to. The guy was so emotional, you know, selling his car, his dad's car, and I, I, I couldn't film in there. So, hence why the reason I'm sitting in the dark, because it's pitch black in here at the moment. And I'll just show you. This is the same four door, apart from the color. I passed my test. Yep, so this is the car. So I need to unload this one tonight, take the recovery truck back because I borrowed this one and I will continue with you guys tomorrow. So the plan is because I bought this barn find and I couldn't film in there to try to start it. Today's episode is going to be about try to start it and try to un unseize the brakes because last night uh, the left hand side rear brake uh, was seized on. So was dragging it on with the winch and um, Last night, uh, just to show you, I'm going to turn the camera around. The story was, and there is some evidence what happened. So I couldn't get it off. I couldn't get it off from the trailer. And the problem was I have to get it off because I borrowed a recovery truck. So just to look around this car before we starting on it, this is the actual state of it. It's been covered up in a garage. And was a heated garage as well, which uh, which saved this car really. It's only a couple of tiny bit of fault on it. So just to go, just to show you the inside, just to go through everything. It's in amazing condition. This car is parked up and was uh, ten year old. Yeah. So fifty thousand kilometers. This is a left hand drive car, but. What you see on the back of it is a GB sticker. You see the state of it? There are some ashtrays in there, which is I have to fix. Four speed manual. It's pretty much the same. I got a Mark III Escort two door. Just to show you. Oh, this is locked. Let's see if we can get into the boot. Boot is locked up. Here we go, that's open. So it's a bit of dirt in there. Yesterday was so much stuff put into this car. You know, like, uh, ba they basically use this car for storing. And I'm gonna show you the engine bay as well. Let's just get this up. So here we have the engine bay. It's manky, it's old, it's dirty, it's a 1300, Lucas ignition on it, so um, yes, uh, I had a look before I purchased the car, uh, there is some issue on the radiator part, 
so probably there's no water in there but it's not gonna stop anything not gonna stop me to do anything with it really because it's really dirty really manky but it's all original yeah and what you see in here is no rust no rust okay on a battery tray I must say it's that's it it's a little bit of a surface rust that's it apart from that it's oil everywhere I don't know it's just because it's dried out seals or or whatever reason but it's really really oily you see but that's beside the point it's I need to turn over the engine really so the plan is so the plan is I'm gonna lubricate everything up I'm gonna put some cameras onto the car try to manually turn over the engine see if it's seized or not because I don't know yet if it's seized or not hopefully not hopefully they preserved it well so let's get on with it first thing first get the plugs out lubricate all the cylinders well lubricated because this engine has not been turned over for 31 years so just make a note of it maybe take a picture of it how the cables go just in case if you do it for yourself because if you take the leads off from the plugs and you put it back in the wrong way around the engine ain't gonna start so first first Not too bad. Taking the plug out is gonna say a lot about the engine. I'm really curious about this. Yeah, that's a bit sooty not too bad because this looks like a bit of a you know when you run it on choke so okay first one is out anybody recognize these old plugs genuine motorcraft <laughs> not actually see motorcraft spark plugs in my car yet taking the air filter housing off gonna be easy to take that last two plugs out because this is just in a way so get this one out put the screws in there all matching spark plugs I'm gonna get a wire brush on it, clean every single one of them off. And in the meantime, I'm gonna spray some lubricant down to the pores, so we moist them a little bit. Can't find any wire brush right now because uh, what you see in here is under construction my little workshop at the moment so it's not perfect so I find just a wire brush reel just do a job a bit more pain to do it with this way but do the job just take this suit off yeah just clean it up a bit and what I gotta do like every time I do it, I'm gonna clean it with some brake cleaner as well. My favorite item, as you've seen in many pre previous uh, barn finds, starting cars, cleaning stuff, brake cleaner, brilliant. Make sure you put some safety goggles on. Or just squint. Right. Plugs are cleaned. They're good as new. Right. I'm gonna need this later, I think. Next thing really to do, to disconnect the fuel line. I already find a pipe. And I got some uh, canister of fuel. So next thing to do really, it's, um, 
Take this pipe up from here. Take this pipe up from there because that's your main feed coming from there and that's your fuel return. What do I see? I'm wondering if there's any fuel in a fuel tank. I should brought the filter to the filter in there, put some fuel into the tank because if it's dried out, it might be as a good chance there is no issue in there because it wasn't ethanol fuel back then. For now, all I need to see is if the engine turns over before we go any further. Okay, ignition was on, right. So ignition was on, ignition is on. Everything works. Woohoo! Okay, so we got so we got engine. Good, good. That's very good. Choke. We got choke. Look at that. It's got even a, a light on the choke when it's on. Brilliant. Okay, so the engine definitely turns over. So next thing to do, really, uh, put the plugs back in and maybe introduce some fuel. I think that's a good idea, what you reckon? Obviously, before we started, just to show you as well, we got oil in the engine. The dipstick is in the back of the engine and it's connected up as well. I have the same thing in the Sierra as well. But what you can see in here, with this camera, I got oil. And actually, the oil is not looking bad at all. I got some fresh 100 octane fuel and I recommend you use higher octane as possible because there's less ethanol in there. And ethanol kills classic cars. Introducing a bit of fuel in there because that's probably dried out real bad. The more I say I put too much in there, I say no. We need a bit of priming. We can't just go pointlessly turning around the engine. I'm gonna put pipe in there and um, I need to somehow prime this one. I need to somehow prime this one. I'm not liking this. If you see my last video with the Seat Ibiza, I had done exactly the same. I know this is waste, but somehow, and petrol is bloody expensive. But I, somehow I need to prime the pump so it's not dry. Right, that's really makeshift stuff. Where can I put this so it's not falling off when I try to start it? Right, okay, perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Here is some cool looking t-shirt design. You can buy it on amazon.com, amazon.co.uk and every purchase you make, you're helping my channel growing. I leave the link in description. What you reckon? Pull the chalk out. Ignition on. Not a single chance. Oh, 
Wow. Wow. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Are you kidding? I need to get this mod off. I can't. She's want to, she wants to start. Okay, I think that was the... No. No way. Do we get oil pressure? We got no charge. Look at this. I don't believe it. Man. <laughs> I don't believe it. Get in. I'm not gonna run it for long because there's no fluid in there. Did you see that? It's bloody started up. I'm over the moon. I'm really over. It's gonna die, but. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I know, I don't believe it. No way. No way. Okay, if I give a bit of a throttle, it starts up. Look at the smoke coming out. They say I got no fluid, but I'm not gonna fill it up with water. Seriously, have a look. <laughs> Get in. I never been so excited. I never, I never been so excited. Maybe not going to be the best camera shots. I'm very, very sorry, but oh. go on. It starts on the button. It's running around three cylinder ish. Choke is out. Push the choke back in. I push the choke in and it start running. Look at the smoke coming out. It's died, but who cares? You know, it's choke out. Honestly, drop me down a comment. You, you, you believe that this is no BS, you know, this is this is genuine. This is genuine. It's not started since 1993. It's been parked up and she's running. I mean, running a bit. It stinks. I mean, <laughs> it stinks real bad. It doesn't show any uh, petrol in there. Can we? Can we sh I, I just put it into reverse. She drives. That's because the brakes is seized in, yeah? You see the smoke? This is genuine. Not a single chance. Guys, I'm over the moon. I, I you know, I don't want to I don't want to ruin the car, you know, without being silly. This is uh this is just not going to happen. You know, it's it started up. That's that's the main thing. I mean, my camera dropped in there. <laughs> I don't care. They don't care. It's only a camera. But this car is started. This car is started. So that that was it. Just a vibration from the from the from the car. I'm over the moon. I can't. I can't tell you how excited I am. It's uh, it's just. <laughs> I don't. I don't believe it. I seriously don't believe it. After 30 years. After 30 years, man. I don't, I just, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm gobsmacked. I'm really gobsmacked. Next thing to do is really just to uh, leave the car up because this was the, this was the actual, 
wheel has been stuck. So I need to undrip all of this. Look at the state of the suspension. It's still, you know, it's only a bit of surface. That was yesterday. That was yesterday. We tried to get it out. I'm so sorry about this, but uh, it's happened because the doorway was so narrow and seized up and uh, things been just overpacked with this car, you know, and um, to be honest with you, I, I couldn't I couldn't pull it out with the winch. There was that much room in either side of it and just going sideways because the brake was locked up and we couldn't get to that wheel. I mean, it was that much room for this wheel and between the wall and this wheel. So I couldn't get to it. I couldn't get the hammer on it. And because it's got still the factory painting on this wheel, I don't want to ruin it at all. Well, what you reckon? Drop it down in the comment. I'm over, oh, maybe just my, I'm exciting, you know. Maybe you're exciting as well, but I'm overexcited now. I need to fix this one up and drive it soon. Right, get this wheel off and fix the brakes. A few taps with the hammer. I don't know where is my other hammer. Just some note. This is the boot of the car. And the gust rods is gone. But look at the state of it. It looks pretty good, Nick. See? It's about a thousand times better than my uh, two door. But look at this. You remember seeing this? Shell Super Plus Heavy Duty Multi Grade Oil. Fifteen fifty. That's a proper. That's that's really cool. This is really cool. Uh, we got triangle in there. Original triangle. I I've been given some spare wiper blades and look at this. There is the spare wheel. I think it's still on original wheel. It's Uni Royal. 155 SR15 radial. Excellent. So that's not bad. Just to show you what the car looks like from underneath as well. Oh, forgive me about the. There is the. <laughs> that strap. I needed that strap to put it on the car yesterday. There is a bit of a exhaust leakage in there, but who cares? Well, look at that. It's in good nick. Now, this is what I found. It's a bit interesting. It's written in Hungarian because the car I found is Hungarian, but it's an English car. Oh, look, the light is working. Uh, just, I just want to show you. This is for a hire company when you hire an out these for transit. So they were brand new at the time. And if we go through, these are new cars. That was just in a doorway, yeah? It's just amazing. It's just amazing. Periodic Panasonic head unit. I wonder if I get the keys and if it works. Hang on. Okay, I'm in gear. I don't want to flip it over, but because I couldn't undo the brakes in here. It makeshift is properly seized on. Here we go. Hello. Look at that. Radio works. <laughs> oh, brilliant! I don't want to. I don't want to. Fan works. I guess the lights working. Indicator. Indicator a bit stuck. I guess. I guess this is just an earthing issue. What you can tell is I'm over the moon with this car. I don't believe it. I'm seriously. I'm, I might be a bit messy as well. I'm very sorry, but 
it is what it is. I don't care really. Uh, I'm over the moon. It, oh, I forgot to take ignition off. But yeah, this is really cool. I still try to I still try to put it into reverse and just in my driveway. But because my driveway is so muddy at the moment, uh, because we found out we had some rain and it's been frost for two months almost straight. Uh, everything is really really muddy and we're doing some building work at, in here at the moment. But uh, due to the bad weather, this is on hold at the moment till I can get my workshop up and running. But I try my best to reverse back and go forward. Hopefully, I can unseize that uh, rear wheel. But I don't think it's going to have any, any grip. But I give it a try and just to see what's what. Because the sun starts going down. I think it's the last attempt to try to unseize the brakes with this method. Otherwise, it just needs to be lifted up properly and get it done. It's just at the moment, there's no option for that. So I'm going to reverse back and just try to do a start. Hopefully it's going to move and unsee it. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Bit of a choke. She's working. It's not gonna work, is it? There's no point to try to kill the car and the engine. Better off if I just do it properly. When I have time, when I can put it into a garage and get it done. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Old School Garage. I think it's been amazing and if you would like to follow up on my second channel where I'm going to build this car and I'm going to fix it up so it's going to be road worthy, please follow up. I'll leave you the link in description for the second channel and you can see some interesting fixing up in there. Well, maybe not too interesting for you, but hopefully some of them is going to be interesting for you. Some uh, camper van project is there. It's going to be many other projects in there. I can't tell you everything, but you can see some cars in my backyard with this Suzuki Swift GTI and some other cars as well. So please follow up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Hit that like button and I see you in the next time. Bye.